Hi guys, Patrick here in Southwest Fort Worth, and I wanted to make a little video about my aquarium system recirculating water incorporating aquaponics. Have a look. So we're going to start at the pump, and the pump is down here in the IBC sump area. It's pumping water attached to this pump. I have a power limiter, DIY power limiter, it's off to the left, but it's a 2 inch PVC. And I have it connected to the pump and it runs the water up. And up here I have different valves in which I can adjust the flow of the water going into the tanks. I'm going to step back here and that way you can see the top and that 2 inch PVC and how it comes from the sump. It goes up towards the tanks, comes over the tanks, comes back around and then dumps back into the grow bed right here of the IBC tote uh, that's right on top so that's where the water is coming out and again I can adjust that flow and then the big two inch PVC that's the excess of the water and that goes straight back to the sump I have that right there that was an airline uh, so that air can go in the system uh, and it can flow correctly and here's the water going back into the sump area. I've got a little bucket there with some lava rock at the bottom. Uh, instead of a swirl filter, I just have it going here. So, so these are the tank systems. There's nine on this rack. And I have a frag tank connected right there as well. I'm going to walk over here. And on the other side, I've got another nine tanks in the system. So I've got 18 on those racks, the frag tank is 19, then there's a 29 gallon and like a 15 gallon in the grow bed. Here is the overflow of the tank, so it goes from the top tank, and then uh, if you look in there I have a net breeder blocking off the intake uh, where that overflow goes. Uh, those are cheaper than getting a sponge or something, so I just did that. So the water goes and flows down to the middle row. And I have it going into a hang on back filter. The, uh, these hang on back filters are not plugged in, but you that bamboo growing out of it. I have bamboo or pothos ivy or another plant growing in the hang on back filter, and that's where the flow comes in. And then it comes in and then it goes back out again through that net breeder and the overflow, and it flows back to the bottom tank again on hang on back filters and then it goes and overflows into a gutter. I wanted something open and something I could put some different plants uh, in if I wanted to. So it all goes into a gutter instead of a PVC. And the gutter goes all the way around back to the sump system. And so here you can see the gutter. I'm going to walk that way the gutter takes a takes a 90 degree turn to the right and it just turns it comes under the frag tank and there's a frag overflow that goes right to the gutter there's that limiter I was talking about for the pump but anyway here's the gutter and then it takes another 90 degree turn and then I have it going all the way to the front of the sump uh, since I have the water pumping from the back I wanted that to flow to the front and there you see the water flowing into the sump system. Over here, this is at the uh, hang on back filters, and I want to show the plants that are growing out of the hang on back filters there, some of the ivy. That's really lit up there, and those LED lights that I have hanging. But And there's the bamboo. That bamboo's growing like crazy. You see it just growing up. It's a bamboo shoot I just cut, and then it's just been growing, and it'll get bigger. And the ivy will grow pretty well also. Here's the top of the system. So you see the hang on back filters, you see the plants. The hang on back filters, I can put cartridges in as well uh, with the plants that are in it. And then there's the PVC. You see it going around, you see the different valves on it. And I also have the airline up there too. And the airline goes all the way around the room. And it's being pumped with one pump I got at gemco.com. 
You see the water flow going in. I'm going to show how those valves work and how I can adjust the flow after I uh, view the pump here. So there's the airline right in the corner there. The gray one is the one I'm actually using. The blue one is back up. It's not running right now. So here's how uh, I adjust the flow. So I'm going to pull this hose out and you can see the water flowing there. And that just flows right into the hang on back filter that flows into the tank. And I can go and turn that valve down. And now the water level, or the water flow is less. You see it coming out there. I'll put it back in. So it's less right now. And then I'm going to open the valve up more a bit and show the flow. So as I open the valve up more, that flow is increasing. So those are the valves going in it. On the grow bed, this is the grow bed. I've popped this ivy, got other plants happening. I've got aloe, but here's the bell siphon. So the water level goes up and down in the grow bed that's inside of that bell siphon. I've also got peace lily in the in the grow bed. Um, run some cucumber, some other things. These are some lettuce rafts that I've created that I've just kind of put on top of one of the tanks here that's by the window. Here's another one in the frag tank that's by the window. So I've got fry in those tanks and then as this lettuce grows and the roots go in the water it'll provide filtration, more filtration uh, in those tanks. So with, there's a lot of filtration happening in the tanks. I've got I've got under gravel filters and some of them sponge filters and some those hang on back filters. Here's some of the fry. Um, these are still a bit too small to see what they are. I've put in that frag tank, I've put some ruby barbs. Tiger barbs, some Odessa barbs, these right here are tiger barbs, um, some ruby barbs. Right there is inside the tank view of the fry that are happening. And you can see the undergravel filtration, the sponge filters that I have going, the hang on back filters. Some filter provides some filtration for the fish as well. And then those plants are just really sucking up nutrients and making the water pretty healthy. And that's my recirculating water aquarium system incorporating aquaponics. Hope you enjoyed it.